you will require a pasture pipette and bulb. Your sample, as well as a waste beaker. A rubber band. Small test tube. And a mercury thermometer. A rubber stopper to hold the mercury thermometer. And capillary tubes. Tweezers. A clamp. A Bunsen burner. And a striker. You'll also require a thiel tube as well as a retort stand. First start by assembling the clamp onto the retort stand. Make sure it's fastened tightly and securely. Attach the small test tube to the mercury thermometer using a rubber band. Assure the bottom of the test tube and the bottom of the mercury thermometer are lined up. Place the rubber band near the top of the small test tube. Now place the rubber stopper on top of the mercury thermometer. Place the rubber stopper into the clamp. Make sure it is securely fastened. Next, you want to add your sample into the small test tube. Lower the test tube into the oil. Add one capillary tube with the open end facing down into the sample. You will now need to wave the Bunsen burner over the lower end of the seal tube to ensure even heating. Once the sample has begun to boil, remove the flame from the lower end of the seal tube and allow it to cool. The boiling point can be recorded as the temperature at which the liquid sample enters the capillary tube. The fluid enters the capillary tube because its vapor pressure has just dropped below atmospheric pressure. Once the oil has cooled, you need to remove the capillary tube with a set of tweezers. Discard this in the waste glass bin. The thermometer rig will be disassembled and removed from the clamp. Once removed, you will need to clean the bottom of the mercury thermometer and test tube with a paper towel. The rubber stopper will be removed. Next, your sample in the test tube will need to be removed without spilling and deposited into a waste beaker. The rubber band will be removed 